When it comes to worthy opponents, there are few in the Marvel Universe that dare take on the mighty Thanos. Many have tried, and many have failed. The list of those beaten by Thanos can go on and on, but what about the time that Thanos threw down with Blackagar Bolt again? Black Bolt is the leader of the Inhuman Royal Family. As an embryo, Black Bolt was subjected to the Terrigen Mist, which is a substance that alters inhuman biology. At a young age, his powers were far ahead of other Inhumans. His most well-known ability is his quasi-sonic energy that can be projected through his voice. It has been said that his voice could even shake the heavens. The story of the battle between these two began on Titan, when a genetically engineered parasite assassin called an Outrider came before the presence of Thanos and was ordered to go to the Inhuman Kingdom Adelan to seek information about the whereabouts of his inhuman son named Thane. When the Outrider got to Adelan, it made its way to Black Bolt's chambers and began to look into the mind of the Inhuman King while he was asleep. Eventually, Black Bolt realized something was messing with his memories and awoke and began to fight off the assassin. The Outrider fled and in an attempt to get away cut down those who stood in its path. In the end, the Outrider managed to escape back to Titan, even while Black Bolt pursued. Upon the return of the Outrider, the Black Order had assembled to hear its news. After informing them that the Inhuman King had the knowledge that Thanos was seeking, the Outrider's purpose had been fulfilled, and it was then executed by Corvus Glaive. Thanos sent members of the Black Order to Adelan to demand tribute. Along with the tribute, Black Bolt was told to deliver all Inhumans between the ages of 16 and 22. They were given a day to pay up or suffer the consequences. Black Bolt knew that this tribute was a cover-up, and that what Thanos was really after was his son, Thane. Not pleased with the demands of the Mad Titan, he swore that he would deliver his response to Thanos himself, a bold move from the Inhuman King. After these demands were delivered, Thanos made his preparations to go to Adelan and deal with the king himself. Upon his arrival, the only person there was Black Bolt, who sat alone on his throne. Confused at the angle the king was playing, Thanos told him that he needed to make a choice or suffer the consequences. When he asked the king what he had to say about it, Black Bolt let out a quasi-sonic energy blast right at the Mad Titan, leveling everything in its way, all with the single word, no. Breaking through the debris left from the blast, Thanos noticed that Black Bolt had activated a Terrigen bomb, which began to affect those in the proximity of the gas. Black Bolt then surfaced from the rubble as well, and prepared to do battle with the Mad Titan. Black Bolt wasted no time and sent another blast with his voice at Thanos. This time, Thanos resisted the blast and began to beat answers out of Black Bolt, as he claimed he didn't have time for these games. After delivering Black Bolt an impressive beatdown, Thanos lifted the Inhuman King and demanded one last time to be told the whereabouts of his son. Instead of answering, Black Bolt prepared to deliver one final incredibly powerful blast to the Titan he was face to face with. Out of patience, Thanos slapped his hand over Blackagar's mouth, rendering the King almost defenseless in the most disrespectful way. Holding Black Bolt by the head, Thanos declared that the Inhuman could keep his secrets and that he would carry them to his grave. Thanos then smashed his opponent's body into the rubble around them, leaving the Inhuman King bloody, broken, and very defeated, while Thanos continued his search for his son.